Good morning. Welcome back. This is Brie with my lavender pages. I bet you're looking at this little notebook going, what happened? Well, I ended up taking this out and carrying it with me for a day and I brought it home and whoops. So I have some polish on order that I'm going to treat this with and it will be all happy and textured and, and fine. So we are here to plan the month of October. Yeah, it is Sunday morning, the 25th of September. My family's upstairs. My kids are upstairs watching whatever they watch on YouTube. So I thought, ah, this is a good opportunity to plan October. Let me show you how it looks in this book. Um, I'm using sterling ink, of course. How can I not use sterling ink? It is so pretty and my favorite. So here, here is what it looks like. This is the current week here. And a little bit of September. So this is October. We have the Coffee Monsters Co. calendar and my overview page. This is what the month looks like. And then I've already started planning a couple of the, the first couple of weeks in October. I chose to do fall over Halloween because I love fall and Hall I love Halloween. But Halloween's only one day, right here. So we're going to do fall for most of October and November. Um, it's my favorite time of the year, guys. I love fall. So this is kind of how... It looks, um, I'm going to reference this to plan in my bullet journal. So we're just going to set this off to the side here and get out the bullet journal. And I have on my schedule to do a flip through of August and September, um, regardless of whether or not I have the pictures printed. Um, I did change out my cards. I used the Sterling Ink November sticky note um, template and made some cards. I have my medical info here and if lost card here. And then I did a quote from Sylvia Plath. It's hopeless to get life if you don't keep a notebook. And I thought that was so fitting and I love how pretty this is. Anyway, so we're going to keep these all stay tucked in here. Um, this is the future log. I have a few things in pencil. Um, I gave up putting the days off of school in pen. I learned my lesson last year because they changed them like four times. So here they're just in pencil. Um, and then I'll go through and erase as the days go and take them out. Um, feeling blue and my 2022 holidays. Today is Rosh Hashanah begins. Um, Rosh Hashanah, I can't say that. I am so sorry. If I offend anybody, I apologize. Big time. But that begins. Um, few in October, quite a few in November, and then we get blasted with the holidays in December. Woohoo! Okay, so here is September and a few of the events in September. We went camping over Labor Day weekend. The next week, my brother-in-law and his family came into town from Texas. Then the week after that, Dancing with the Stars started and it was the first day of autumn, which is one of my favorite seasons. I'm drinking perk this morning because I'm really tired. Here is my September calendar. It looks very boring to start with and then as the month goes it like fills up. So this is the current week right here. And then my weather tracker and my habit tracker here. I did change out on my weather tracker, instead of putting um, 
blue when it rained. I put brown when there were days that they we had thunderstorms because sometimes here in Utah, we will have thunderstorms but no rain. And other times we will have rain with no thunder. So we had quite a few thunderstorms. I think we're supposed to get another one on Wednesday. I think that would be really cool if it happened. I haven't put the weather in my weekly yet, which is right here. So, oh, hi box. I have not put my weather yet in this. That is something I'm doing today. This is the upcoming week. Um, we have a parent teacher conference. We have choir starts for Miss AJ. She, Miss AJ has activity days all on the same day. Lovely adventure. Then Thursday, Friday, no um, work. And then I took Saturday the first off for general conference. So I get a four day weekend this week. Yay. And then we have, this is yesterday. I have not written, um, for yesterday. And this is today right here. I still need to go plan my lesson for my little nursery kids. And then we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and October begins. I need to get this little bit of washi tape off of here. So here is October. I have the calendar printed. This is a Sterling Ink freebie. If you're on her Facebook group, you get to enjoy the loveliness that is her drawings and paintings there to die for. Um, this will be my overview page for the month. Here is my calendar and then my weather tracker. I did chose to do snow instead of thunder for the month of October because there is the rare two or three times in the month of October when we get snow. So there's that. This is the vellum from the subscription kit and then the habit tracker. And then we have the first week which I will be planning with you guys tomorrow um, at some point when my husband's gone. And there's the plan for that. And then the rest of the book is blank because we haven't gotten there yet. Um, with the October calendar, this is the vinyl that was on the outside of the subscription kit. And I used to put them in my weekly notebook, but lately they have been so pretty that I don't want to take my eyes off them. So same as September. So here's the sticker that came on the September kit. I put October's right there. In the same place. It didn't, it wouldn't really fit over here. Um, so that is where it is. That's where it's going to stay. I have not put washi tape on my edges. I don't know if I'm going to put washi tape on the edges of my monthlies because I haven't found a fall washi that I like enough to go with this kit. I have some coming tomorrow. Maybe they will tickle my fancy and I will be able to put them on my pages, but I haven't gotten there yet. So for October, we are going to use the subscription kit from Sterling Inc, which I have already put in its own. See, I have November printed out. Look at that. This is more vellum from my kit that I need to find a place to put. Yep. So, let me stash this back over here. That holds a lot of stickers and things. So, here's my laminate pouch for October. We have the vellum on one side and the calendar on the other side. And these are the stickers. And I was lucky enough to get some that have foil on them. Look how pretty, look at that. <laughs> oh, she does such great work. I have a link down below, a PR code, uh, Lavender20, if you are interested. Um, go check it out because it, they're worth every penny. Um, these are the week. There's the small deco, medium deco, corners, the large deco, um, large florals, and then more days of the week, which I used on my weeklies. Um, 
I'm gonna set these off to the side. I might want to see if I can put something here. Let's look at the little freebie. I do want the October month. Oh, look how pretty. Maybe I'll leave that out for inspiration. See if there's something that tickles my fancy. Okay, I like that phrase. There are little dots here and right here that I will be using to mark my work schedule or any work meetings that I have. Um, then when we're done, I will end up cutting this sheet right here so that it fits in this little envelope and stay safe. So that's what that's for. Here is the October month. You know what, let's put one on in this book since there is two of them. We'll just take, this is different paper than she's used before. It's thicker on the back. But the same beautiful washi-like sticker on the front. Uh oh, we got bubble. There we go. October. That matches that washi pretty good. Huh. Okay. Um do need a thin washi for fall break. Let's pull. This is my washi anthology book. That's what I call it. It has a lot of my washi in it. Um, this card. It doesn't have all of it, but it has a lot of it, but not all of it. Okay. I'm going to put down the deco and the dots and some color, and we will get planning. Here we go. Okay, I think that's it. I'll figure out for sure as, as I start writing stuff in. Okay. This is my Twisby Eco Medium Nib. It has black diamine solstice in it. Last month I used the green, the thinner, my thinner pen. And in August, what did I do in August? I used the black. I'm gonna use the black this month so that stuff stands out because there's a big one on. All right, so I think I need to move my mug. It's blocking the light. Try and not knock it over. Okay, so the first part of the month we have general conference, which is the first and second. And then here on Sunday the 2nd, we have family dinner. Then on, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. 
So I'm just going to put work. And that is from 9 to 3. And then my husband works Monday nights. He does lighting. And then 9 to 3 on Tuesday. And 9 to 3 on Wednesday. And then at... 115 Miss AJ has choir. I forgot to put here Tuesday evening my husband has meetings. Okay, on the 6th, we it's my brother's birthday. And I have a meeting from 2 to 3.30, we call them a huddle, and then at 10.20, on Friday, I have a visit, oh, there goes my bird, with Dr. H, I can hear her little feet pitter-patter on my kitchen floor. And then nine to three, I work. And at 11.30 on Sunday, we have church. And there is the first week. Okay, on the 10th, I have work, nine to three. Or my husband has lighting. And then I work again on Tuesday from 9 to 3. He has meetings. I can hear her little feet. <laughs> on the 12th, work 9 to 3. three I knew that was going to happen. Choir. She almost got stepped on. And then on the 13th, we have a birthday. It's my niece. Then this is fall break. So we are doing a slumber party at my brother's house for the whole weekend. We're going to go up on Thursday and come back on Sunday. Yeah. Um, he lives in East Layton on a two and a half acre property that is a very wooded. It has a lot of trees and the kids will go outside in the morning and not come back in all day and it is fantastic. I download like seven or eight books onto my Kindle and beyond prepping and helping with food and keeping the house clean with my sister-in-law, she and I sit in hammocks and read. It's lovely. Okay, then on the 19th, I work nine to three. And at 1.15, Miss AJ has choir. And I forgot, actually right here, I am not off at 3. I'm off at 12.30. Let's do that. Because my carpool partner is out of town this whole week. So I will be dropping off. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and picking up on Wednesday because the kids get out of school early, while um, my husband picks kids up on Monday and Tuesday. Um, on the 21st, there is no school. So, beyond this 
Friday here, the 7th. My kids don't have school on any Friday for a whole month. Which is really unusual to me. Um, work from 9 to 3. And then 11.30, we have church. Okay. That is week three. Week four, we work. Nine to three, and the lighting. Work. Nine to three, meetings. Work. Nine to three. 15 choir and then on the Saturday I work 9 to 3 and at 11.30 we have church then right here I work from 12 to 3 I'm planning on a Halloween parade here. I forgot to put right here on the 8th. There is the barn market up where my sister-in-law lives. Hopefully I don't smudge anything. Kind of go like this. up by their home in East Layton. They have a neighbor that has this massive white barn. Like I could stick my house in this barn. And she has all the mamas that are crafty come over and bring the stuff that they, that they make and they, she lets them sell them out of her barn. And they call it the barn market. It happens usually the second Saturday in October. And it is so cool. There's a lot of good stuff to go check out. Um. I think that's about it. I am not putting lighting here for my husband because we go up again to my brother's house in East Layton and go trick or treating and we make a whole day of it. So I don't know if he's gonna be coming with us or if he's gonna stay here in the valley and do his lighting. I don't know what the plan is. So that is up in the air there. But other than that, this is the month of October. I do believe I want to put this little bottle right here. And I think that will even things out, make it look a little better. There we go. There's the month of October. So pretty. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See more of my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy October, everybody, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.